the fun and joy we have working our dogs on the shoots whether it's a big shoot or whether it's a small shoot having the fun of working our dogs and then comes along the beaters day everybody's really wound up really ready for it looking forward to it you've worked really hard and part of the etiquette for the shoot is to give you a beaters day or a couple of beaters days and so you bring your gun some people don't bring the dog if it's not that well behaved they just want to concentrate on the shooting and i totally understand that but to me even the beaters day is not about all the killing of the birds and i've never paid for a day's shooting like this day this was a beaters day i shot so many birds on this day if i'd had to pay commercially on a shoot for this it would have cost me an absolute packet some of the beaters days haven't been as good as others over the years because of the number of birds left over but this year was unbelievable it was i couldn't I, there was that many birds it was unbelievable but what i do it for i do it for the dog i do it to give the dog the retrieves i do it for the fun of the of the dog of all the hard work we've put in and i love the banter with everybody on the shoot on the sh on the beaters day it's a bit more relaxed it's not so professional we're having a laugh we're enjoying ourselves and part and parcel of doing this and enjoying it is having a really well schooled dog if you've got a well schooled dog you can rough shoot with him you can run him in competition and you can work him on the shoots whether you're beating or picking up if you train that dog to good standards that dog should be a jack of all trades and that's what I like about the spaniel I like the spaniel to be a jack of all trades ready to go when told keen listens to you if you train it right you can handle it when you need to handle it or you can let it use its own initiative and get out there and work it out and that's what i find it's a it's, it's more about the training than it is the shooting and the older i get the shooting is not that important it's about the dog work it's about giving that dog that enjoyment you put all that training in why not have fun with that dog and give him a wonderful life and what people don't realize who are not in the sport is what a wonderful life we do give our dogs they don't see that they, they hear about us using discipline on our dogs and they're complaining that dog is sitting there watching birds go over and not moving till told watching birds drop like that and not moving till told that's because he's been trained right and if you want a dog of that standard I show you how to get that dog to that standard and the Patreon group gives me more pleasure now watching them tell their stories about when they've been on shoots and what their dog's done for them and how well it behaved and putting up videos showing people the control they've got that dog went to move look he shouldn't have moved I told him he was probably at his best at this stage when we weren't picking up or beating or shooting or even competition this was probably when he was at his best but all dogs go wrong it's knowing when to give a correction and when to give a verbal cue it's knowing when to give discipline and when not to give discipline and if we don't teach this to people and we don't pass this knowledge on he won't have a dog look at this I told him to leave that and I told him to come back he saw it flapping he thought I'll get that no you don't you wait now you could say well why did you make him wait because he moved if he's not moved we would have picked it straight away but we'll pick it in a second we'll pick it when i say not when he thinks he can pick it as simple as that sending the dog for for runners the other guns of it we want those birds in the bag that's our that's our job so i want to be on the peg with my dog even on the beaters day i don't want to be concentrating on just me shooting i want to have my dog with me but i totally understand some people on a beaters day just want to concentrate on having fun shooting they've worked really hard in the picking up line or they've worked really hard in the beating line with their dog all season and it's horses for courses some dogs are really trained to a high standard and some do a job on the shoot that the shoot would miss them if they weren't doing that job so i'm not expecting everybody to have a really high standard 
unless you want a high standard. But how do you get a high standard if no one's teaching you, teaching you what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing? It's about etiquette, it's about control, it's about when to send a dog, when not to send a dog. I hope you like these videos that I keep putting up. I put them up in YouTube to try and bring people across to Patreon. Now Patreon is a safe space and it's a safe space away from idiots. Not that I can't handle the idiots, but I've learnt by being on the internet for a long time that there's too many idiots out there. The more people that follow you, the more people that watch your videos, the more popular you become, the more idiots you pick up on the percentage wise. So let's just say my videos have had 3 million views. Well, if they'd only had 300 views, there'd be less idiots. But as soon as you've got 3 million views, you're going to have more idiots. You're going to have anti-people who don't want to shoot. You're going to have people just wanting to cause trouble because they feel powerful and protected behind their keyboard on the internet. you just got to move on from them, people. Delete their comments and move on. This is for people who want to appreciate what we do and the fun we have. This is for like-minded people. And that's what the site was developed for, to help people who were struggling, who were being misinformed by people who didn't know what they were doing. There's people out there advertising themselves as gun dog trainers that don't even shoot. How can you be a gun dog trainer if you don't shoot over the dogs? It's as simple as that. How can you have steadiness under temptation with birds coming out like this unless you've got control and you put that dog in that situation? That dog is spinning around looking marking the birds he's not sitting there looking at me in a perfect position not moving he's doing his job he's watching what's going on when i send him he goes look at the drive and desire he doesn't need to be handled out there he's marked that bird coming down and he'll get down to that bottom wood and he'll find that bird it's part and parcel of how we train these dogs and how we show it and unfortunately people are becoming so scared of putting anything up on the internet because of the backlash from the idiots. The idiots must be ignored. It's as simple as that. We've got to get out there, promote what we do in the right way, show people how the dogs are enjoying it, we're enjoying it. It's part of the countryside way. And if they try and take this from us and we do nothing about it, then we've only got ourselves to blame, in my opinion. We need to stand together we need to support each other, but we need etiquette, rules and boundaries. As simple as that. It's about education. It's about showing people how to get the best out of your dog in a very high temptation situation. How many pet people could do this? How many pet people could work a dog in this environment with birds flapping, flying across, guns going off, dogs running all over the place, and that dog sits there and behaves itself and doesn't move till told. These are birds that I shot on that drive on the beta day. These aren't birds picked by other people. These are the ones I shot on that day. It was an exceptional day. You could say there's no need to shoot that many birds, but those birds need clearing up. Those birds eat so much food and so much damage is done to farmers' fields afterwards the end of the season those birds have got to be called or collected caught up and so what we're doing is we're being a gesture of goodwill from the shoots are saying you can have the beaters day because you beat for us all year all season for very little money expense to yourself and we don't do it for the money we've never done it for the money but the expenses help. So how do you get your dog to a good standard? How do you get on these shoots? First you get yourself a dog and you train it. If you mix with the right people, you get the opportunity to get on these shoots and work your dog and have great fun. How do you train your dog with all the misinformation out there? It's simple. Come over to Patreon. Watch my videos on YouTube if you like what you see. Come over to Patreon. We will have over a thousand videos showing you how to train your dog from puppy right through to fully trained dog. There isn't many trainers out there doing what I do. Promoting the sport and promoting the way to train your dog in the right way. It's only a monthly fee. And 
there's three tiers. And the first tier to come in and see videos is five pounds a month. For five pounds a month, at any point you can stop and pull out of the subscription. It's not a yearly subscription. We could make it a yearly subscription, but we're not. We're giving people choice. If you don't like what you see, come out. If you're not getting results, come out. Why pay for something that you're not getting? But if you watch my videos, Oh, you've got.